So today we have an iPhone iPro Max that uh, has a no power issue. So this one will drop. And after the drop, um, it lost power. So let's uh, connect the uh, charging cable, and see what we get. So it's not charging, it's flashing at 0 0.2 and 0.1 amp. So um, that's not doing much. So it could be a short, the power, uh, the battery. So just remove the screen and um, okay, let's go to a microscope first. Um, so everything seems to be all right. Take this uh, shoe off. I mean, okay. Let's try to take measurement of the battery connector. Let's go to um, schematic. Let's try to measure the uh, battery connector. See what we get. Okay, it seems it's a short. So this is short. Um, this is short on the battery connector. So that's a short right there. Um, the short on VD main could be a number of issues. Um, so the so the battery right here is short right here. It could be short on. This is charging IC right here. It could be short on the charging IC um, or one of these capacitors right here. So we need to remove the board. Um, so we need to remove this logic board from the housing. Um, let's go ahead and do that and we can test further. Okay, so we know the uh, short is on the battery, so it could be, you know, on what the on what the on on one of the capacitors. So let's start to inject the voltage to see if it's on the capacitor or on the charging IC. So we want to inject 1.5 voltage. So in check 1.5 voltage, we see nothing. So it means that it could be on the um, on VDD main. So let's go back to the uh, schematic. So VD main is somewhere right here, VD main. So V main is also connected to the battery as, somewhere along the battery as well. So not the battery, but also the uh, charging IC as well. Let's go to look at the back. So as we see, VD mains are on these right here. So let's start injecting 1.5 voltage to VD main and to see if it's, it's a, 
short on the uh, integrated chip or is it on the um, capacitor itself? So 1.5 volt, we don't see anything. Let's, let's check VD main if there's a short on VD main or not. There's no short on VD main. There's no short on the battery connector either. Hmm. Let's marry, mar measure the battery connector again. So the battery connector is fine. Um, so there's no short on the board itself. Oh my goodness. So, it's not short on the board itself, then it must be this is short on one of either the charging port or one of these um, Okay, I think where we found the shortest. Let's go to camera, microscope. The short is on here. So, looks like it got water damage. The short is on the 4G LTE antenna. Oh my God, you cannot get this off. So basically, uh, let's try to remove it. So we got shorted and it fused right into here. So we cannot get it out. So the only way to get out is just have to remove this as well. So the board is not short, but this one is short. As you can see, it shorted out and it fused. And it fused the, uh, the connector onto this. So it's all blacking out. So we need to replace this module and also the uh, 4G, 5G antenna. So this is not, it's not good anymore. Um, so we got burnout already. So basically, uh, probably got wall damage. Yeah. So it looks like I got wall damage. See corrosion and burnout. Mm. Yeah, this one's gone. We cannot take it out anymore. It fused right into it. Yeah, this one's gone. So we need to replace this. Okay, let's um, let's test the board to make sure it's okay. So 
So we found where the short was. It's on the 5G antenna uh, within the housing. But we need to take, test the board to see if that course is short. Okay, let's hook up the uh, charging port. Okay, phone is now powering on. It's charging at normal 1.5 amps, which is good. It's booting up. So the phone is powering up fine now. So all we need is to replace that 5G antenna module. So we got water damage and the water went to the 5G antenna module, that's where uh, powers also goes to, to power the 5G antenna, to boost the 5G antenna um, signal. So that one got short, um, so it short out the whole phone. So the phone is working fine now. Um, let's test the touch. So phone is fine, so all we need to replace that uh, 5G antenna and it should be working. Okay, we got the new module. Let's put this on. Where is it? goes right here. And this one to go right here. There you go. Okay, let's now put, put the board in. So let's test to see we have still have a short. Okay, so it's not short anymore. Let's make sure, let's uh, take the Dymo reading. So it's measuring 0 0.32, 0 0.33, which is normal. Okay, so it's good. Uh, so if we put the board back, it should work normally. Uh, Okay, we put the uh, board back to the housing. Uh, let's test it to see if it, power, if it powers up. It should power up. It should power up because we already tested uh, earlier. So, the phone is charging at 2.2 .2 amps, which is good. It's booting up at the normal boot sequence. Okay. So phone is working fine. So basically this phone was, um, it got water damage and the water damage got into the 4G, I'm sorry, the 5G module, antenna module, and it short out the uh, 5G antenna module and it short out the, um, so what happened, the 5G antenna is hooked up to the board, so it short out the board too. So. So we replaced the uh, 5G antenna module. Um, so now the phone power. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, this is how you fix. This is a pretty easy fix because we all we uh, were able to diagnose the problem uh, quickly. Um, so um, the phone's working fine now. Okay.
Thanks uh, for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps us a lot. Subscribe to our channel um, so we can uh, produce more content like this in the future. Well, thank you. Bye for now.